Hi, I'm Chas, and you're watching Chas's Crazy Creations. Let's get started. For this first project, I found two candle holders at a neighborhood garage sale. I removed the candle holder piece that was metal, and there happened to be another metal disc on top as well. I took them outside and I spray painted them both with white spray paint. And I let them dry following the can's instructions. I brought them both back inside after they were dry and placed them on a cookie sheet. I put some super glue on the top of each candle holder. I made sure to leave a generous amount. I carefully placed two vases on top of the candle holders onto the glue. Next, I would let the glue dry overnight before moving on to another step. For this next one, I used a small candle holder that I had on hand from the Dollar Tree, and I used a small crackle vase that I found at a garage sale. Using the same process as before, I placed the super glue around the candle holder. I kept a paper towel close by in case I needed it to wipe off the top of the super glue before putting the lid back on. The kind of super glue I used was found at the dollar store and it's called Fix All Adhesive. Next, I carefully placed the vase on top of the candle holder. I looked on top to make sure I had centered it up on the bottom. I would let this one dry completely as well. Once they were dry, I placed them onto my dining room table. Now you could easily add candle holders as you see that I did, but you could fill them up with other items for centerpieces as well. For this next project, I used a taper candle holder and a glass light fixture that I had found at a thrift store. Again, using the super glue, this time I placed it around the outside edge of the taper candle. I used a generous amount but not too much, I don't want it to drip down the sides. Did you know that you can add some Vaseline to the threads of your super glue? This will stop the lid from getting stuck onto the super glue. I carefully placed the lampshade onto the taper candle holder, making sure that it got nice and centered. I let this one dry completely, and when it comes to super glue, I like to let it dry overnight. For this one, I pulled the base off of a solar light and then placed it into the light fixture. I love how this solar light was a perfect fit inside the lampshade. Here's what it looks like when it's lit up. I love how pretty it is and it's going to add such ambiance to my yard. I placed this one on my front porch. I hope this inspires you to upcycle some candle holders of your own. I'd love it if you'd subscribe to my blog. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe.